Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Uh, it's Rad, and in this uh, daily dose of tarot, we're going to check into 29th of uh, May 2022 uh, and see what kind of a things and generally messages we have to deal with for throughout the day. Uh, but before we get into that, should any of you be interested in a personal reading with me or if you do want to take my tarot classes, uh, you can check out the description down below uh, where you're going to see a link to my website and there you can basically uh, review or, or view rather a, all of my services. Now, with that said, let's check on the day. So the first card for the day, that is going to be the Knight of uh, Swords. From one side stands the Five of Cups. And from the other side, oh, we do have the Two of Cups. Okay, so that is uh, this. This is how those cards stand. We do have the Knight of Swords, and then Five of Cups and the Two of Cups from both of his sides. So definitely, uh, throughout the day, we'll have to deal with a person, or the Knight of Swords also could represent us. But let me explain you what the situation is because it's kind of like. Uh, I believe the word should be precarious and as well quite complicated. Now, from one side, we are going to have an attachment with this individual, with somebody. Okay, so let's put it that way. We're going to have an attachment with somebody throughout the day and maybe for the future as well. Uh, however... This attachment will be somewhat unexplainable, at least for throughout the day. Take it that way, you spend time with somebody and you don't like much of what that person is, and yet it's kind of like something pulls you really into that direction. That is how it stands in this situation. Now, you know, the, um, the nature of that relationship could be almost anything, uh, but it is quite significant. And that is because we do have the Two of Cups, but not only that, because also we do have the Five of Cups over there. Okay, And when we do have a Five of Cups over there, that pretty much means that this is a part of our path moving forward. It could be, for one, could be less significant than others, but we definitely have something that we must experience with this person one way or another for some could be just you know having sex and seeing what sex is with this with this individual for others is to manifest some kind of a, a stepping stone or a milestone for their dream for third it could be that you know you are destined to be for for any single one of us is going to be a different significance okay a different extent of significance but there is no doubt that that person is significant to our future and how we are going to face the future. Now, why the situation is going to be really complicated? Well, it, it's kind of have a um, this this shade of um, it could be better. OK, things are as they are, but they can be better. And just this this aspect of can be better. It will be really that pin or a, sh a shiv that it is kind of like poking us, not allowing us to, uh, to, to, to have pleasure from the interaction with, uh, with this person. It also could be uh, that person could be playing with fire, like, you know, scraping down our nerves for one or another reason but ultimately what boils down to it's uh it's a choice how we are going to um face the future with this one uh this choice is going to be difficult to be made i don't want to lie to you because there are going to be a lot of emotions involved in there uh, and, and these emotions are going to be like uh, like a ball of 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 weaves from one side, they're going to stand the positive emotions and the positive outlook for the future. From the other side, they're going to stand the negative emotions and the negative outlook for the future. 
And ultimately, at the end, we have to make up our minds w w w where we are going to place this person. For example, are we going to place this person in the friendship zone? Are we going to place this person in the friends with benefits zone? Are we going to place this person in the business zone? It's just we have to decide what we are going to be from there on moving forward. Now, once decided, it will take a miracle to be changed for what it seems. And that is not just only because of the Five of Cups and the Two of Cups, but also because of the Knight of Swords as well, which is the nature of that person itself. And when the Knight of Swords is told something, they take it literally, okay? You may tell them that you just want to be friends with them, but say you are teasing them right well they don't see it that way they just okay you want to be friends that, that's that's fine we are friends they are going to act like friends and you may wonder well up until this point they showed you know more of a romantic interest now they aren't why what, what changed well it changed that you placed them so you got to be very careful how you do place that person for yourself and what kind of a potentials you are allowing them to see because that is how they move forward what they see tangible that's what they striving for they don't act on help they act on logic and if logically doesn't make sense to chase you they won't that that's the the problem with these type of people and uh that is uh, that is how you gotta play your game guys that is how we gotta play our game in the in sunday 29th of uh, may 2022 i hope that all of us kind of like plays that individual in a way that we're not gonna regret it in the future and uh, I hope that we're going to be pleased with the situation. And one thing I want to mention you here before I wrap this one around, it is that no matter um, what we are going to have as an experience later on, you know, we place that person in a certain in a certain spot into our life, and then we end up being unhappy about it. Well, first of all, this unhappiness is going to be because we are under underwhelmed the situation. What I mean is that we place that person lower than they should be or than we can handle, so to speak. And that will cause us to be disappointed. True, but this disappointment is not going to be something that is going to linger for a very, very long time. On the contrary, it's going to be something temporary really and very quickly it seems that we are going to make our recovery from it so if you don't want to if you don't know what to do of it or what to make of it uh it's best to let it sink so to speak for the day because that person as i said quite significant for us or for our future that is they're not going to just disappear of our lives unless we don't say that unless we don't tell them to do so so with that said this wraps up the daily dose of tarot hopefully you do enjoy it and you do like it we are going to see each other next time until then bye